And I'm sure in midweek, uh, from Tuesday all the way to Thursday, you saw the shocks and the amazing football that was played in the UEFA Champions League as well as the Europa League. If we have time, we'll get into that. But also on Tuesday, a big event happened, the launch of the original games, which Ghana's very own Baby Jet is pioneering. And as a result, <laughs> the man, the legend, the myth himself is here to talk us through all about it. So we'll get into that very shortly. There's also Heart of Oak and Kumasa Asante Kotoko. Quite a few troubles here and there. After a great start to his Heart of Oak career, Abubakar Watara is now struggling. Three losses on the bounce. What's going on with the Avore manager at the uh, Phobian Club? It's almost like Heart of Oak and Kumasa Asante Kotoko have swapped uh, their four themselves seem to be finding their feet after what looked like a very difficult last month. So there's that to come here on the show. It's live and interactive on social media, brought to you by Patreon as well as uh, DSTV. Now, Patreon says every drop matters just as every penny counts. Good quality fuel enhances your vehicle performance and reduces maintenance costs. Take no risk in times like this. All you need is value for your money. So look no further. Drive to the next Patreon fuel station. Pages off for your clean, accurate quantity f uh, fuel suitable for new technology vehicles. Be a happy customer. Feel with smiles. Drive more miles and save some money. Of course, uh, be a happy customer. Feel with smiles. Drive more miles and save some money. All right. Pages off your clean fuel in full quantity. Pages off is always a delightful experience. The uh, European competition is still ongoing. Only DSTV has the best uh, for you. And to that, you can watch all of Ghana's superstars. Mohamed Kiddis, he was in the Europa League yesterday. He didn't go too well. Le Bayer Leverkusen, from Bayer Leverkusen to Bayer Loser Kuzing to Bayer Never Losing. Uh, yesterday, they extended their unbeaten start to the season uh, again by beating West Ham. But Liverpool suffered a very shock defeat uh, also in the UEFA Europa League at the hands of Atalanta. No one saw that coming. So that's all to come here. And that's all. The action is all live on DSTV, sponsors of this very proud show. But uh, I'm not going to waste too much time. Obviously, when you hear this, then you know that a special man, Baby Jet, is in the building. What to know? <laughs> We are not enemies. Baby, 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 baby. See, you don't make radio. You don't make. See, if we talk radio, I'll put fans for inside. Baby, you know, uh, we have Ghana's highest goal scorer in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Asamojan is here. Uh, what kind of introduction is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I played a song and I said, thankfully, we are not. Enemies. No, yes. they, you said Ghana's highest goal. Pe. Uh -huh. Pe. No, no, you came with the accolade. Africa's all time. Oh, hold on. Ah, hold on. Hold on. Don't do that. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Daniel Cranton said he doesn't want me to say anything. I should leave all the accolades to him. Okay. Give it to me. So I have to revert to him. Daniel, give, it to me. Me. Yes, give it to me. First one. Lady, yes. hold on, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. For the right introduction. Oh, baby. <laughs> For Sorry. the right introduction oh, uh, of our special guest this afternoon, uh -huh. I now defer to uh -huh. the one and only, uh -huh. the one and only, uh -huh. the one and only, uh -huh. the, uh -huh. the slimmest shady, uh -huh. the bad man. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. You know, Mister. Uh -huh. Ghana's highest goal scorer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Africa's the first good person to score a goal for Ghana in the World Cup. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The only person in the history of football. Who, when is the dying minutes? When my team is down, I can turn my head and say, baby, we'll score. Uh -huh. And two, two, baby, we'll score. Uh -huh. USA's greatest nemesis. Uh -huh. The greatest goal scorer in the history of the game. Uh -huh. The one who, when he turns like this and his finesse shot, you can tell your head, ah, but he didn't say, baby, 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 Uh, 
Oh, uh, baby, how did you find that? <laughs> quite interested. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what I will say. So, Daddy Jay, <laughs> you'd be quite interested. <laughs> ah, baby, baby. Be, <laughs> Granty, Granty be my guy, my yeah. guy. Yeah. I know. It's more than, it's more than. <laughs> to be fair, for those of you who just tuned in and might not understand what was going on, Daniel Granty idolizes Asamoah It's not even like in this building. Ah, missy, I know, right? Yeah, in this. Sorry, <laughs> Oyi Messi. Okaho. Uh huh. We the Sicho with the same. Okaho. Okaho. We the Sicho with the same. Thank God. Asamoah, how have you? I'm good, I'm good. You've I'm been good. very busy. Ha. You've been very, very busy. I'm not sleeping these days. So I can tell. Sleep. You've I'm been everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. But it's good that you could find oh, time to be with us. All because of Ghana. Yes, yes. all because of Ghana. Yeah. All because. Really, really you see, Ghana. I will not be doing justice to this if I don't introduce another legend. Even though he's not on air, we have to acknowledge that he's present. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? Before Asamoah Jan, there was, there was another jack yes. standing out and representing this country. Uh -huh. This family has done their bit for Ghana. Oh. He made a jack name and I took it to the next level. That's right. Uh -huh. But for Jan like is in that. the building yeah. as well. Yeah. Give it up for him. Five seconds. Yes. Five seconds. Yes, go on. The first time I saw Bafo Jan play, yes. in fact, the lineups were appeared on the TV. Yes. And I saw Bafo Jan number three. Yes. Ah, but the guy was high up the pitch. Uh -huh. I said, ah, me to a small boy. Yes. I said, ah, but this. Left back, no. What's he doing over here? Ah, the number three, no. Sorry, I've not seen something before. <laughs> and baby made you understand. Baby made me understand. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. You know, in the in the in the build up to the, I think the qualifiers to the 2006 World Cup, yeah. Bafo played some of the qualifiers. In fact, a he started. From, yes, a yeah, chunk of them. I remember seeing a visual on Metro TV back then. One of the in the montage, in one of it. Baby Jet was walking with Bafo Jan and ba as a Mojan was carrying Bafo Jan's back. Mm -hmm. And he was following him. <laughs> yes, yes. And that visual has never left my head. <laughs> <laughs> it, it tells you everything you need to know about yeah. him. There is senior and there is senior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bafo has done In his fact, I recall Ghana Cavedi when we went there and beat them 4 0. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Bafo Jan. It was in there. Quite crucial, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. so welcome to the built in Bavo, even though you are you will not be speaking. Um, he says yeah. he won't speak. Yes, he said he won't speak. He said, <laughs> he said his job won't forget to me. We also have Chief Franklin, who is the project coordinator for top the, guy. Top guy. Yeah, he's top a top guy. man. Chief. Top guy. All correct. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> wherever they say chief, you go down. Of course, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get straight to it. Like, if we have as a modern and Chief Franklin here today, it's because they on Tuesday they launched the all African games, original, uh, games. original games. I beg your pardon, original games. ARG, AIG, ARG, ARG. Who said AIG? You, you. Ah, you're talking to here, but you are. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. The bottom line is that there is an I, A, A and there's a G there. <laughs> the R is important. It's very important. So we are going across there's all regions. all and there's okay. games. That's true. So, um, we are talking about the all regional games, an initiative from Asamojan and his team, uh, which is bringing all the regions together in the competition of multi sporting event and now the registration is ongoing and everything I, but i don't want to be the one to tell you all about it i saw the launch uh lawrence was there i saw the visuals for me it was very well attended and it, it's only the beginning but clearly it does tell you what the future looks like for this event and the interest that people have taken in it so i said well let me begin with you at what point did you start to think that you know even though i'm a football legend let me do something that inculcates and incorporates all the other sporting disciplines other than just i see john is smiling because he understands inculcates <laughs> there's some people Jesus. yesterday say they don't understand they don't like inculcate. <laughs> um, but at what point did you start to think about this initiative you know about 10 years ago um, 10 years some t I, I was doing certain things when i when i was playing but people couldn't understand for example being a boxing promoter People yeah. didn't understand where I was coming from. I was looking beyond football. I was looking beyond sports. I just wanted to 
build a sports fraternity. Yeah. Um, people, people will say, oh, why didn't you build an academy or support football players but boxing? You know, I, I just want to help everybody in the sports fraternity as much as I can. You know, so me coming up with this idea was like 10 years ago. You know, but um, the implementation was a bit of, um, of a challenge. You yeah. know, so lo and behold, this year, Franklin and his team, everybody came on board. We had to just sit down. You know, we were planning this for like seven months. Wow. It's been like seven months, going back and forth, sleepless nights, how to implement and everything. You know, create the database to support a project. Everything is intact. We used like seven months to do it. And uh, wow. here we are now with the original games. Ghanaians are ready to benefit. Interesting. I mean, that's a, that's amazing. Franklin, before I bring Jam back in, I really want you, for anyone that's probably hearing about this for the first time, and I always say that there's always an opportunity to provide new information to new people. You can't always assume that everybody knows exactly what's going on. The original games, just give us a summary of it. What is it about and why is it important? Okay, thank you. Um, the original games, um, as um, Baby just mentioned, has been his vision for the last 10 years. The whole idea is to actually develop um, or identify um, new talent. That is the, the main vision of the whole thing. Okay. And then we've selected for the time being, selected about nine sports disciplines, which is um, football, athletics, boxing, arm wrestling, the both tennises, which is the long tennis and the table tennis, and then um, the para games now, um, e-sports, um, volleyball, okay. and I think the last one is... It's really uh, Sorry? It's swimming. No, no, swimming, swimming is not this year. Okay. Um, so it's basketball. basketball. Um, that's, that's the last one. So for this year, we're only um, focusing on these nine areas of, of the sports fraternity. Okay. Now, the idea is um, next year we'll open up. Okay. okay. But this year, because it's a pilot, it's a maiden edition, we want to minimize or take on um, areas that we can actually afford to minimize uh, for the program to be successful. Yeah. So the idea is most people think that before you can get into, let's say, uh, let me take football. Before you can get into the, the national team, you have to be in Accra, you have to be in Kumas, which is true. But then this time around, you have somebody that lives in Oti, mm -hmm. that lives in Savannah, mm -hmm. that lives in Tripoli. Mm -hmm. That is not yet to be discovered. So we're moving around all the 16 regions. Mm -hmm. And then out of these nine um, disciplines, each child has the opportunity to actually demonstrate their key talent. Okay. You also have regional coaches that are coming on board, and we also moving some few coaches from Accra. Mm -hmm. And then one of his vision also is not only discovering new talent, retired football players, retired coaches who are basically sitting at home, they losing all the experiences that they have. He's bringing everybody on board. Okay. okay? So from region to region to region, every region have to uh, represent their best um, athlete for each discipline to come and compete at a national festival in Accra on November 4th. Okay. This okay. year? This year. All right. Okay. So, um, currently, what we're doing now is we're moving from region to region. We're doing a regional tour. Okay. Okay. To identify um, what kind of sport facilities are within the region so that at least we know how to go about things. Those that we need to import, those that we need to... Um, existingly have that we have to build upon. So we're moving all the 16 regions as part of um, promoting um, the original games, encouraging encouraging the youth that whatever talent that you have, being boxing, being arm wrestling, participate, take um, part, be proud of the region that you're going to represent. Yeah. Okay. And the, the beauty of it is you're going to you might have a team from Savannah region that will beat Ashanti region for the first time. Course. It's possible. Yeah, of course. Um, you can have a team from OT um, that will come and beat Greater Accra. Of yeah, I'm supporting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're supporting who? Asante. <laughs> <laughs> Not B. For me, for me, I'm supporting OT. Okay, I want to. I want to see OT. Hey, go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> have a photo from Vota with me. I'm here. That is who. Who will you support? <laughs> Region or East region. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, oh, I, I'm partial. I'm supporting OT. I want to see OT team come into Accra, beat Geta Accra, and then team. beat Ashanti. You see, baby, you ask a very important question. W which region will he be supporting? He said, mm -hmm. This is the first time all the people here know that it's for East region. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> 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 I quit. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs>
Behave, oh my God. did you know? I had no idea, bro. <laughs> Moved out, did I you know? No idea, bro. I know. Nobody so, knows where so this, this is where we would discover everybody's. Yes. Where everybody yeah. comes from. Yes. Yeah. Because um, as the interview progresses, progresses, um, chief, we will create an account for each region. Yes. So maybe you're from the eastern region. Register. If you want, if you want to donate to your your region for them. Okay. To build up their okay. team, you can do that to them. Okay. Oh, wow. okay. That's oh, wow. interesting. Massive. So, how, so hold on. So the idea is get all sixteen regions together at one place to compete in a multi-sport event. Over there you how go. many days? There the, you go. Um, it's going for. We start from the fourth of November to the end of November. Fourth of November to the end of November. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. See the way I summarized that thing. He said, "Fantastic." <laughs> yeah. Now. Why are they hype your body? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand. Relax. Really. Now, how do the regional teams? How will the original team be formed? Okay. So, um, let me, let's take uh, football, for yes. instance. Um, w- if you look at the registration, we're having a lot of registrations on football. Okay. So, the football concept is going to be um, justify your inclusion. Mm. Okay. So, as the registrations are coming in, we're putting them in blocks. Let's say the first one up to 50. Okay, from 50 to 100, 100 to 150. Then we set days that the justify your inclusion will play. Mm-hmm. Then you have the local coaches and you have um, our, our coaches from Accra that will sit and they are beginning to scout the talent um, as the activity is actually ongoing. Okay. So in the football, you have Coach Sapon, uh, who is a very renowned coach um, on board that's going to be leading the chart as far as football is concerned. Okay. And then basically after the, the talent are being scouted, they'll become the best or the final 23 to represent, let's say, Northern Region or okay. Savannah Region or okay. T Region. Okay. Now, when it comes to the athletes, we have um, Cora also leading the charge um, in terms of um, athletics. So, Imanoto 4, yeah. popularly known as Cora. Mm-hmm. Um, so, basically, you also have, and it's, for athletics, it's pretty much straightforward because it's just speed, recording speed, and whether you meet the timeline or not. Yes. And then you have also the representation. So, it's the same thing across all the other sports disciplines. Okay, then they prepare and then come to national to come and compete against region per region. Okay, uh, that's interesting. And uh, 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 baby, you mentioned the issue of donating, and I think it, it 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 feeds into what Franklin just said, preparing. So when they have the teams ready, uh, and they are preparing, that's where people need to come on board and support the regions. Yes, um, we 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 creating um, it's like a GoFundMe account. Yes, for all the sixteen regions. You know, for for them to be able to prepare well, yes, for 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 the um the fe- actual the festival, yes, you know, so it's something we're doing to help the society. We're giving back, but also to make sure to make them believe they they have hope, because when you are there and there's no motivation, you can't do anything. As yeah. for example, I've seen a lot of people who brag and say, "Maybe we're going to be Johnny Ruff." That's right. And then they end but up there's no evidence. Maybe this one. I know they brag, but. Most could I'm your finisher. Thank you. Oh, you're my nickname. Pipo Inzaghi. Hello. And well, later they turn up to Moro Ikadi. Why are goals? Goals. But I'm not a team. Let me mention my name. I'm not a team. So, so, uh, Asati, you say, any one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any one? So, so you this, you this. Uh, uh, any one? Uh, so, it's something we, 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 we planning to do, you know, to yeah. keep people on their toes. People to discover their talent, and that is why we are here. Discovering talent. So, does th- will that will there be an age limit to the people who can participate? Yes, um, but th- th- let me backtrack a little bit. Okay. Um, one of the reasons we're doing the regional tour is also to form the regional committee. Of course. Okay, the regional committee will be responsible for the administration and the well-being of the team getting ready for yes. um, the national festival. sports festival. Mm-hmm. And then for every funding that we currently have, and then for now, it's baby's own resources and then some few collaborations from outside. That is where the funding is coming from. Okay. Okay. Um, wow, so that's huge. Yes. Maybe you I are mean, funding this from your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's been thinking about this for 10 years, so he's been able to tuck away a bit of money um, okay. through his friends and then some few collaborations outside to actually begin this process. Now, for the money that we currently have, what we're planning to do is to have a 16 separate account each account representing a particular region. Right. Okay. So that according to proportion, and we'll get to get more information when we finish the tour. Because obviously, talking about 
people that will apply more in Ashanti region is a bit more than Savannah of, of modern course, OT. Yeah. So that is how the segregation is going to go. And then what would then will happen is those funding is basically the region um, committee is responsible for bringing their budget to actually run the event. Okay. And then we also have the national committee. So whatever the region decides will come will feed into the national committee, approval is given, and then basically um, the fund is actually released, actually developed. Another thing we're also doing is we also want to create an employment. So for instance, mm -hmm. if people have capacity in Ashanti or any of the regions to build things like jerseys, to sew like jerseys, okay. we want to promote local enterprise or local business. That's amazing. So a sample of the jersey, bring it, we'll endorse it, and that becomes the jersey that you use. Amazing. We want to minimize importation of jerseys into the country by rather build local businesses. Yeah. Yeah. That's another thing. But we're limiting it to you have to be a resident in a shanty region to basically tender for it. We're not moving somebody from Accra to go and so unless of course we cannot identify an institution or agents that can actually keep, have the capability of building those jerseys, then obviously we have to then import. Yeah. So these are some of the things that we've put in, in place and uh, it is not on, um, I know this person, I know that person. The portal is open. If you want to be an event organizer or event planner for any of the regions, go to the portal, go and register, submit your tender document, and basically we have an engagement with you. Then you can actually fa um, facilitate um, the region um, based on whether it's an event, decoration, it's about printing, and it's about jerseys or tracks you bottom so that is what we also put in place so that's one of the reasons why we also are moving around doing the tour. Mm. Uh, doing the tour and a step further also one of the things is recognized is most of the time people get injured okay and when they do get injured um like events like this it will fall back on the parent yeah so one of the things he came up with was listen i want to have an insurance company okay that will come on board and then basically Anyone who get injured during trials or the main festival, the insurance company we'll should be able to take care of it. That's so that's another thing that we've actually put in place um, um, as well. Then the final thing also is our exit strategy. Yeah. We have three main exit strategy as far as this game is concerned. He's inviting a lot of international clubs or foreign clubs to come for scouting at the November, the National Sports Festival. Okay. So some of these kids will be very fortunate that they might get discovered or be taken by these international or foreign clubs. Yes. The other part of it also like the local um, football, like the um, the calls and then the clubs yep. might also discover a talent for somebody who lives at Triponi. Yes which would have taken a longer time for that person to be discovered. Sure. So we're hoping at the end of the National Sports Festival, some of these kids will play for some of these clubs. Okay, And then most important of all, because it's going to be witnessed by the entire country, in a situation whereby maybe we need a player or a striker, the next Asamojan, of course there can be only one Asamojan, but in the likes of an Asamojan from Triponi, people in the country will say, oh, but this guy that played in Original Games Festival was very good in defending, was very good in striking. Why don't we call this person into maybe under 23, under 20, or even the national team? So those are some of the things that um, we're hoping to achieve at the end of the festival. The final part is what Balfour is working on now. I wish he would have actually taken the seat to actually explain it. Mm -hmm. He's got some education foundation program that he's running. Okay. That some of the kids who will neither be discovered by the international um, clubs or the local clubs, but they still want to pursue education, um, scholarship and other bits and pieces can also be given to that child um, to continue education. So these are our main exit strategies um, that we're putting in place. Uh, those are all very amazing uh, indeed. And I like that. I can see the vision behind it and what it could grow up to be. It used to be a point where we had the National Sports Festival. Um, I think the president said at the closing ceremony of the African Games that he hopes that the new resources that they have built could be used to revive Thank you. the National Sports Festival. And all the original games is another form of a National Sports Festival. That's I it. absolutely love that idea. That's it. Um, at the speaking of which, you mentioned the fact that people can register what is the portal okay the portal is um www.allregionalgames.com okay. ah, all regional really yes <laughs> all <regional games> <laughs> com. Ah, click on yes. register um it's just a few bio data that you take in you okay. upload your id or ghana card or passport mm -hmm. and then basically you state the region that you are a resident in and let okay. me emphasize on that yeah. 
we want to discover talent within the region. So not you cannot live. Accra people like you Nana cannot live in Accra. <laughs> ah. You cannot live like in Accra and travel to Oti and go and no. You have to be a resident of that region. I get it. Charlie, I'm relocating to Beijing. But honestly, honestly, um, yes. there are a lot of, um, I would say, even artists yes. who have just called me to show their interest. Oh, lovely. You know, um, I just, like, 30 minutes ago, I spoke to Shata Wale. He called me. And Stone Boy, I spoke to Stone Boy, like, Boom. two months ago. Obviously. He told me, anytime I come to Ghana, I'll come to the office, we sit down. If you could remember one of my posts, I just posted. I yeah, yeah. Yeah, he came so to the really office. We, we spoke about it. He's really happy to be part of it. When the Shea, when the Shea is is on board. Wow. You know, so just this afternoon, Shatawale called me. and was like, "Hey, Charlie, this thing is big. Ooh. It is big. We it have to we, we have to make this thing happen because the festival, baby. And I'm glad you mentioned that. It, that's why it's a festival. Yeah. So it's yes. not just a sports. Thank yes. you. So there will be a music element, yes. concert yes. every yes. day. I had, a, I had, I had, I had a, like two hours meeting with Stone Boy. That's amazing. We spoke about it. He also brought his ideas. Brains, so it's, it's something for Ghana. Everybody yeah. should get involved. Yeah. And that, that is what we are looking at. We want original game should be an institute. That's right. In the That's country. Right. Uh, it's something that people look forward to thank every you. year. Every thank you. year. You know, every and, year. And thank you. The, the, the one area that I'm actually quite excited about is the fact that the educational angle. Yes. Where when you come in and you do not have the talent to progress, then there's an opportunity given to you by by for Jan for you to be able to further your education. And that's a massive thing exactly. to do. I just, I just opened the website. It's very friendly, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's very simple, user yeah. friendly. Uh, Cicho, simple. Cicho is yeah. an IT person. That's yeah. why he's already checking out the website. <laughs> um, you know, but you mentioned you, you mentioned it, and that is even the entire idea behind the Olympic Charter. That yeah. participation in itself is winning. Yeah. yeah. So it's not just about coming and then winning the title. It's just it's about participation. Yeah. Participation in itself it's it's crucial. So at the end of it, baby jet, what I you know, he mentioned the 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 the, the exit strategy and all of that. But once you are able yeah. to bring so this together at the end of it, what is your biggest what would be your biggest takeaway? What are you looking to achieve? Because you've you've already achieved a lot. And this thing seems like it's been in your heart for 10 years. Yeah. So if, and when you finally bring it into fruition, what, what's your vision for it going into the future? I want to see Ghana up there when we go to Olympic Games, winning more medals mm. and stuff. And one interesting thing we, I, I brought on table was, for example, um, a team from Volta Raging comes and then the, I would say the volleyball team wins gold. That's yeah. amazing. That would be amazing. We, we have decided... Any can any um, discipline that wins gold, yeah. for example, volleyball team from Votary, they, they come to Accra, they win volley. We we've decided to go there, build a volleyball court for them. Oh, that name them after that court. That is the in juice. The first edi- that's first the edition. juice. So that it's something that we've been, been planning to do. That is the juice. Wow. And I saw and that's I there. wow. Yeah, and that's I saw the right in do ah, very soon. The juice. Bro, that's for He's been hiding the juice for Thank too long. You. <laughs> They'll be right in do very soon. So uh, wait, my friend, keep <laughs> quiet. Over <laughs> you. Keep quiet over. So baby, does that mean that if the people from Upper West come here and they come and win gold? Let's say overall the track and field, they win the overall uh, best in track and field. Yes, you go and build that. Tra- uh, that one, track we don't field. have the money right that now. Is, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We don't, we don't, listen, listen, we don't have the money. That is where the corporate organization have Thank to get involved. You. That is where people should get involved. Yes, this is for Ghana. Yes, so if you want to build something at, uh, at the Volta region or not, we are mentioning do and we come to you. And we come to you and we, we bring a proposal. You say no, which means you don't want the sports. That's the point. See, just, yes. just, just, just to add to what we yes, see. You see, this is. You remember after the Africa Games? Yes. We established, we covered it. We went out on the ground. We saw that people are interested in some of these lesser new sports. Yeah. So this is a very good opportunity for us to see where the raw talent is coming from. Yes. So when if somebody in in uh, uh, Sunyani wins let's say uh, volleyball let's let's use volleyball again as an example mm-hmm. and they don't have any court over there mm-hmm. this is an opportunity to tell not just the corporate uh, uh, side of things but government that we have seen that the region of uh, uh, ba 
has a huge look it's a budding zone for volleyball so now you have to it's not like right. you are doing it and hoping that talent will come out that's right now you know that there's talent there that's right. but now you need to go out there and help them de- develop it in terms of infrastructure that's so right. this is a very very good uh, initiative imagine but not fence, having it in the first place you come and win the, you don't have it but the, you come to win the yes. multi-purpose facilities that uh, the government were building yeah i mean through this even pressure can be put on the sector ministry to finish them yes. because when they do and then all regional games are ongoing these facilities can easily yeah easily because they have that's right multiple courts volleyball they have courts everything. they yeah. have everything they've got tracks for let yes. yes. so these these facilities can easily if, <laughs> if these things are functional maybe but, the, but that's the thing the that's original right. games for example i am dead setting 100 percent that the indoor sports will be held at botema yeah right. there yeah. you go that's right yeah. for the festival yeah, yeah, for the, the festival, festival yeah, yeah, for the festival yeah. itself. Yeah. Listen, this is an amazing project. What I what I will say about it is that it's been it's actually long overdue. Yeah, that as a country, I I, I was very very disappointed when the national sports festival became what it became, and it, it's probably a good thing that they took it off because it became very mundane. In other words, it was just it, it felt like a chore where it was defeating the entire purpose of the event. Mm. The entire purpose was to bring regions together, develop new talent, and see how it can serve the nation. It became something more or less like, Charlie, there's origin, uh, with this National Sports Festival, let's do it and go away. Mm. That's not the purpose. This is the purpose of such event. It's very intentional. You can see that they've thought through it, and you can tell that there is a long-term vision for yeah. it. And for me, that's what I'm very happy about. The second thing I'm really glad about is the fact that this is being championed by an ex man who knows exactly what it means That's right. to be discovered at an early age. It's significant. Sometimes, even for track and field, I keep telling people, in Ghana, we have a big problem where we think, you notice that in Ghana, the level at which we start to compete and really start to take notice of the talent, especially for track and field, even for football, is our secondary school level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if a track and field athlete is not discovered before the age of 12, mm. forget it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because from the age of 12, so, and you see, when they're in secondary school, they're 16, they're 15. By that time, it's probably a little too late. Yep. So most of these serious countries, they actually start way earlier. Yep. And the original games is one competition that does not limit, especially when it comes to how young you are. Yep. So a 12-year-old could come and play among the volleyball team of Volta Region, and he can excel. Yeah. And that's a talent being discovered at an early age. So listen, I think from us here at the Multimedia Group, right. Joy Sports, yeah. we will offer all the support that you need. Yeah. Um, you know, it is, it is, it is a great initiative. Thank we you. don't have anything like this on the calendar for sure. Um, and, you know, this is filling a void. And in business, in marketing, they tell you establish a niche, you establish a gap, yeah. and then you fill the gap. There mm-hmm. is a gap here that is being filled. So right. uh, that is a it's a great initiative, That's and right. uh, um, we will support it. We Thank will you. push out all the information that is necessary. And when the actual event itself comes, I mean, the build up itself is a it's a it's a program on its own. That's right. You know, and then when the actual yeah. event itself happens, <laughs> I don't think there is any other media house there with more ability than us to deliver <laughs> <laughs> a multi sport event. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like no, I was demonstrated on there. And, 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 and like, like, the like games, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and next week, and, and next week we start we start our original tour. Uh, amazing. We go to you all the city OT. OT, that sounds fantastic. So we. I'm going a lot of love for the OT region. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to all the 16 regions, yeah. you know, to create awareness there, Amazing. go do promotion. Mm-hmm. Initially, we wanted to send letters, and I was like, I was like no, 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 let the people feel your presence That's there. Right. So uh, that is what we we doing from next week. Oh, 16 regions there. Hey. hey. Mm. hey. <laughs> you, don't worry, maybe you survive. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Because Amen. The, the politicians do that. We don't just, just go to the regions, they even enter villages. Ah. So, so why you go to Northeast? Ask for do go there. That's my village. He okay. Has, <laughs> <laughs> he has mentioned do like five thousand yeah, times. Yeah, so it's it's all part of the uh, northern region, you know. So we we that is what we we're planning to do. Um next week we 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 going out. I I even have a lot of uh, traveling to 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 go like outside Ghana, but I 
just how to cancel it wow. and then make sure i focus on the original games you know for, speaking of for, which, for ghana speaking of which how much have you traveled outside of let's say accra kumasi where else do you know i mean i know ba You've been there obviously because you're from there. Football took me everywhere. Football it did. <laughs> has it taken you to Tumu before? Where? I, I've been oh, to so where? I've, I've been to Tumu. <laughs> I've been, okay, I've been, I've been to, to I've been to I Tumu. Where I can ah, be. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Baby, don't join those people. Ah, uh, sorry. Don't join those people. Don't, don't add don't add an no, imagine. I didn't hear what you said. You were trying to say something. No, no, don't. You are adding an image. You know, a certain letter. language. The language is. The, I, Baby, language I is know very... what you mean. Uh. <laughs> I, 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 I'm saying you are adding an imaginary letter, uh. and, I, and I get that all the time. Every, uh. every, every time I tell you, <laughs> which I'm one there they are? <laughs> I tell people I'm from Tumu. Uh, and the people say, ah, I'm seeing something else. They <laughs> <laughs> say, boss, you are not seeing anything. <laughs> you your ear is hearing one your, thing. Your brain is supposed yes. to <laughs> Their brain is telling them there should be R somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's no R. <laughs> I beg you. There's no uh, R. So it's Tumu? Tumu, it's tumu. yes. Uh, yes. Well, not tumu. R1. <laughs> Baby, don't join them. Don't join them. There's no R. As for, uh, as for the R1, right now, it's very dangerous times for you. <laughs> but there's a law. Anybody can, you know, <laughs> now a problem there somewhere. Uh, uh, anyway, before I let you go, yeah. um, maybe we had something prepared for you. I know you don't have a, a lot of time to stay throughout the show because oh, wow. if you could stay out through the show, uh, mm-hmm. If you could stay throughout the entire show, it would have been really nice. Mm-hmm. Your friend, Christopher Nimley, says, I should say, and he said, please, better read this message with care and proper voiceover. And the message says, please acknowledge that Accra Academy is in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, I love him and God bless the baby jet. That is from Coach Christopher Nimley. Yeah. And wow. I'm sure some of you, you know him, right? Yes. Yeah, Coach Nimley, yes. Accra Academy. Yes. Did, did you go to meet him? Or came, or what? Uh, I think... Ah, I left. He, uh, ah, you had, are you sure you are uh, senior to Nimli? You probably no, 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 no. He's an old man. No, no, no. He had left. No, I didn't meet him. I didn't meet him. <laughs> he's an old man. Hey, for the way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also, let me just say this before the. If you have any question around the original games that you want to ask, send us a message. The number is zero zero five five one 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 nine nine seven zero five five one 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 nine nine seven. I'll keep him here for another 10 minutes or so. So do send us a message if you have a question for Baby Jet. Um, we have come up with something, Baby, because you've, you've gone through quite a lot in your career. Uh, the question we want to ask you today is, how much does Baby Jet know Baby Jet? <laughs> <laughs> how much does Asamwaja know Asamwaja? I know myself as a confident person. Yeah? Okay. Very, very confident. Very confident. Yeah, but better. how much do you remember? For example, if I ask Keep you up. this question, say, you know you are the fifth highest goal scorer in the history of the UAE Pro League. Did you know that? Fifth highest. Did you know? Wow. I know that. Okay. <laughs> With, and you also have the best goal per minute ratio. That's okay. one I know. That one too you know, right? Yeah, I know that one. In now, the UAE. Yes. Now, if I ask you this question, how many goals... Have you scored in the UAE Pro League? And how many games? Do you know that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Shoot. Is it all competitions? Or? Yes, everything. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just the Pro League. Fine. Just the league. Pro League, I think I have 99. That is close. He does know himself. That is close. The right answer is actually 100. Wow, one hundred goals! But can you put a number to the number of games that you scored those four hundred goals in? In, I think in ninety nine games. In ninety seven. Ninety seven games. Wow, yeah. John remembers. He does remember. <laughs> <laughs> but that is wow. unbelievable. No, you yeah. see, I like people like you see people who know the achievements. Yes, <laughs> I like it. You know another person who knows. Bro, he can thank you. He Bro, can tell you everything shout. that he has done. Hey, I like, I like people like that. But, no, but when I was doing this research, this is wild though. Yeah. hundred goals in ninety seven games. That is a that is that is a goal and zero point two. No, there are only few players who are able to score more goals than they play. You know those like when you go to Real Madrid, they're the best goal scorer ever. You know his name. When you go to Champions, like those people, yeah, few. 
Like okay. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. This is this is your all time top goal scorer here, so you don't have to be surprised. Okay. Are you ready for the second one? That's good. The first one that was good. That was actually good. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm actually very impressed. Thank you. Um okay, number two. How much does baby jet know baby jet? Now you've played in nineteen league seasons in your professional career. Mm. Okay. In that period, you've played 331 games. Uh-huh. Wow. And you've scored 166 goals uh-huh. in that period. Now, the question is, do you know which league season you scored the most goals? Of course, the UAE. Yes, but which year? Um, you were uh, there for a few years. So that, that was 2014. Uh, when I scored t- 31 goals in, in the league. Yes, but yes. So the question is... It was my second season in UAE. Yes. That was 2012, 2013. Ah, perfect! <laughs> <laughs> nah. 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 That is amazing. Yeah. So it was in the 2012, 12, 13 13, yeah. league season. He yeah. scored 31 goals yeah. in 22 games. I, 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 I would have scored more. I've got injured. Yes. Because during the first round from October to December, I had I already scored 21 goals in two oh. months. In three months, I, I already scored 21. It's four wow. days. Hey, wow. wow. You are a cheat code. Tell you what is Wow. All right. Okay. That, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I feel like I should have made the questions harder. <laughs> but, but to be fair, these are hard questions. No, these are very yeah. hard questions. Yeah. I mean, you're looking, you're looking for precise answers. Yeah. Number of goals, number of exactly. games, which year that's this That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Number three. In the 2010-2011 Premier League season, mm-hmm. you scored one brace. Mm-hmm. Stoke City. So there's there's an interesting one here. This one very much I like them to touch on because the one said from Nanakwesi, he said that Jets, knowing the typical Ghanaian man, they like to take advantage of the initiative to extort fans from victims yeah. uh, of the scam. So, are you putting measures in place to at least okay. limit such occurrences? Yes. So, okay. Yeah, so not from you people, but yeah. other okay. people taking yeah. advantage. Yeah. Frankly, okay. one said that. So, um, initially, what, what we've done is we've built a comprehensive database. Okay. If you need to register, we don't have any offices. We don't have any agents doing any registration. Okay. If you need to register, please go to allregionalgames.com, register. That's it. When you are shortlisted, you will be up, it will be updated on there. And the moment you register, you have your own username and your password. That's right. You can always go and check status. Whether you've been approved, you've been shortlisted. Okay. So we have no offices, we have no, no agents, agents anywhere. No parties. Yes, and right. at all regional games dot com. Yes, that's yes. that is the only that's the, that's the source only. of communication. Yes. That's right. yes, so that's where you can register. That's where you will know if you've been yeah. selected. Yes, and nobody will ask for money. All from the information you. is nope. coming from there. Nope. This one also is from um, Palby. And nobody will call you. We will communicate in um, in um, text message mm. to your directly to your phone, okay. and then it will state all regional games. Yes. As, as a headline. So don't let someone send you a message from a number and yes. says, uh, this is original game. Yes. When the message comes, it will come saved as original, original game. game. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. What's the other question? This one says here that, okay, friends, uh, this is a good initiative. It's from Paul B. He says that, but how involved is the National Sports Authority and the GFA in this? He actually thinks that before they sabotage you, that's I what he said. Everybody is involved. Yeah, I think I saw uh, that you met even the federation heads. Yes, yes, yes they are, they are so all involved. Yeah. You saw, you saw uh, uh, FA president. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who he gave his speech. You know, everybody has his support. I saw the Ghana athletics president too. Bar Hussaini was, yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. was there. Okay, so everyone is involved. Everyone yes. is involved. Everyone. This one says, "Fen, kindly let us imagine." This is Manome Andy. This is the senior brother of Abel Manome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. He says, uh, "Kindly let us know that the best goal scored that I will remember him for is the goal he scored against England at Wembley. God bless you. That's my best goal. Uh, your the goal, the goal oh, wait, from your own perspective, forget. that's your best goal. Yeah. That's why you choose. People chose the game, the goal against America. Hey. Yeah, but, but just, you know, uh, it came at the right time. Yeah. The time. Maybe just, the, would you choose the Malaria, the Malaria goal? Algeria, Algeria. Don't you are vomiting. Don't you are sick. You are vomiting. We need the goal. Malaria goal. <laughs> Relax them and let him choose. Hey, the he group. says he prefers the. You know, it's, it's like music. Yes. The artist comes and he feels, oh, this is my best song. But yeah. people don't even relate Fantasy. to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, my, fa- my favorite goal of Asamoah has to be. 
America. I, I don't know. I don't know the opposition, but he was in the French league. Rennes. Oh yeah, Montpellier. Oh, yeah. It was Montpellier. Yeah. 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 Yes. Montpellier. No, no, you should see the goal. Yeah. He knows the goal. I'm talking. We're, talking, we're talking about the national jerseys, the national colors. Oh, favorite goal. Favorite goal. Favorite yeah. goal? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 that way, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll pick that one. The Montpellier goal, right? Yeah, Montpellier. Yeah, yeah that goal was super. I'm a true Janite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True Janite. Thirty yards. I like it. I'm a true Janite. Oh, that goal was like thirty yards. Yeah. Yeah. Shifted it onto his right. right foot, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. God! It's that, was, that was the last kick of the game. But it was the most nerve-wracking goal for any Ghanaian. You can talk about you, the malaria <laughs> jam. Oh. Right. Malaria jam. Right. Ghana Algeria. Algeria. Headlines. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, guys, relax. Relax with the fan fooling. Elephant in the corner. Hey, relax, relax. Right. You've seen Jan. You all of you don't you can't even control yourselves. How? But baby, when you are not here, they will be doing themselves big boys, big boys. Uh, you are here, Daniel can't talk. <laughs> I'm star <laughs> <track. laughs> In this country, if you don't join the room, where you see your body big boy, you know be serious. You know be serious. Go run down there, I forgive you. Hey, biggest uh, boy. Me say, the intro, I was family. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> uh, Prince from Makati Hill says, I really love this initiative, but my great joy is that the original games could be for uh, p- could be a point for maintaining the sports facilities, especially yeah, Boteman right. and Legon. That's right. Sicho, Sicho made that point because it, every year there's going to be a sports festival. These facilities will be maintained well, he says. All right. Um, is there another ma- question? Uh, Stanley in Achimoto says, please ask Baby Jet if he remembers his goal at Stanford Bridge where he famously danced with Bolo Zendi. Come on, why wouldn't he remember? <laughs> what, why wouldn't he remember? I remember watching that game. It was, yeah, it was crazy. Um, Indeed, uh, where is it? Uh, okay, okay. Are you sure that's for Baby Jet? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that's for Baby Jet. All right, Jan, let's, let's finish our let's finish our let's finish our quiz. Why don't you ask him something? He said what? I wanted to ask Baby something. You go go ahead and ask. Him. There's something about Jan in his angles when he's scoring goals, and it's fascinating because for most players, when they cut onto their favorite side, you know the the goal is bigger. They can curl to the far post, go to the near post. But when Jan has the ball at the right side, typical example is the goal he scored against Algeria, the goal he scored against Noya. It doesn't miss from there. It's from those angles that a lot of strikers struggle to. Egypt, Egypt in, in yeah. Kumasi. I was in the stands and like, baby, who coin? Baby, who coin? <laughs> <laughs> There's something about that angle for Jan. And I wanted to ask, how did he perfect how it? How do you find so much comfort in those zones to find the finish that you do find? It's something I, I, I prefer it. You know, I go scoring is an act. Mm. It's something I it's something I invented it. You know, um sometimes I go on my right and I shoot like the normal shoot and then I feel like it's not effective. You know, so I just develop that skill that um on my right I'll just use my instep foot. Yeah. It's like a cross in f- just yes Francis in front of the goalkeeper. Just that. So it's something I mastered it. Mm. So when I get a chance there 95 percent i'll I score 98 percent john it's 98 yeah. 98 98 <laughs> so that is true i guess no yeah he faced it he couldn't yeah it's so on that massive. angle i remember the first time that was when richard ufori remained in the team when he was at wow stars you know mm-hmm. after training i just take the ball there shoom. no no goalkeeper but he was the goalkeeper who was saving them. always saving it i was like oh right. oh interesting so honestly i recommended him ah mm. okay okay yes and he became okay. the third goalkeeper coming Coming up, okay. coming up, and all then, the way yeah. to number one. Yes, and then he touched Until that ball. He touched <laughs> ball. Yeah, but that's okay. Hey. But that's, uh, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll read that game. Let's go. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's okay. Okay. All right. Um, maybe uh, somebody sent a message that he went to the registration uh, call and they said athlete or coach, but he wants to register as a footballer. You are an athlete. <laughs> Okay, so, so when you when you come to register, there is a drop down. You have to select either an athlete, yes. either a coach, or either even a volunteer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the person have to select the appropriate button. Yes, he he wanted to select, but he's a footballer. He didn't know a footballer means athlete. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he didn't see footballer. That's his question. He didn't see footballer. He only saw athlete. Now he knew he's a footballer. So I'm saying that footballer, volleyball player, <laughs> yeah. so tennis now he, player. So now he knows. Explain it to him. <laughs> yes, yeah. you are all athletes. Thank you. You are all athletes. So please select athlete. Okay. All right, baby jet. Let's try and finish our quiz. Uh, number four. 
So you answered that one. Mm -hmm. uh, the Braves you scored against Stoke City. Now, you scored in back-to-back -back games against Spurs and Chelsea in the Premier League that same season. Which player assisted your goal against Chelsea? It was um, Jordan Henderson. Oh, my word. In the 52nd minute. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. It was, how do you, how do you even game? remember <laughs> that? <laughs> if in my first goal I scored in the Premier League, in my first start, it was Jordan. Wow. Yes, right. that I remember. That was my first, the my first, my first game. In the premiership, yeah, in that volley too. Yeah, to from the honest, right cross. I don't know how you got to the, the ball yeah, you are, you because are. it was almost like he was flying to meet the ball. Yeah. 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 And and that game we were, we were one man down. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. I remember that game very well. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a message here that says, "Please ask Jan. Can he remember the year he started football and which team was that? And if possible, the time uh, that if possible in a possible time he is looking forward to what." Uh, so uh, how do I apply it? Okay, your message is all over the place. But Please I think come again. I yeah. started at nine. Exactly. Yes, okay. Right. Yes. From primary school. Yes, I started at nine. So that's that. So exactly. 1994. So, there you go. So the same point you're making. That's the start question. Early. The point. Is, you know, if you don't start, start that early. early, it's too late. At 13, 14, it's probably too late. Oh, you yeah. should be discovered way before that. All right. Here's another one. You've scored 51 goals for Ghana in 109 games. Do you know which country your 50th goal came against? 50th. 50th. Yes. If there was um, Ethiopia. There you go. In Kumasi. Kumasi, yeah. Kumasi, yeah. Kumasi, yeah. Kumasi, yeah. And then they, instead of them to celebrate, they were talking about my armband. I remember that incident. <laughs> they said you customized the armband. Yeah, but let's go. Uh, I, <laughs> like, but you know, you know what I can't talk, but you let's go. Yeah, I, co uh, I commentated on that game that yeah. day. Uh, I think that was... Uh, Germanist debut. Germanist yeah. debut. Yeah, he yeah, scored yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scored yeah, I played with him. May so rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I remember that game. He really well on that day. Yeah. Um, here's another one. Um, you were named Black Stars captain 11 years ago in 2013. How many games do you think you played for Ghana as captain? Do you um. remember? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to my heart cut for him. Uh, that one, uh, that one. Now I will be hard. I help you. You no, played yeah. 31, 31 games, games eh? as oh, wow. Black Stars captain. Wow. Out of the 30. 109, 31 of them was played as captain. Okay. Here's another one. Um, do you remember the, your first game after being named permanent captain? The first game you captain Ghana for? Whoa. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's an interesting one. You said, I don't remember. It's getting harder and harder. Ah, this is something I, I should like remember. I yeah, it's something you should remember. But... Um, I don't know where is it, was, is there, uh, was it at the AFCON? It was an AFCON qualifier. AFCON qualifier? Yes. It was a 2013 um, AFCON qualifier. Was it Malawi? Thank you! Hey. It, was, Stadium. it was Malawi, yes. I choose, I choose best game. Yes, yes, yes. October 13, 2012. Wow. That is fantastic. Yeah. John has a memory of a cat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, here's another one. <laughs> Uh, you've scored for the Black Stars in 14 of the 17 years that you played for the national team. In 14 of those 17 years, you've scored a goal in each year. Now, the question is, in which year do you think you're, you scored the most goals for Ghana? Of all those 14 The most goals, I, I, I would say... Which calendar year? 2014. Yeah. The one before that. 2013. Yes, yep. 2013. Yep. Because there was the AFCON, then the qualifiers to the World Cup. So that was the year. Yep. Can you put a number to it? How many? <sighs> it was 11 goals 11. in 15 games. 11. Wow. Yeah. For the national team in a single calendar year. Yeah. That, that, was, was, that was when I moved to the UAE. Yes. Yeah. That was yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, everybody said, ah, this is a week league. Yes. And yes. that was when he had his most successful Blasters career. Yeah. Thank so you. sometimes it's the league really coming. doesn't matter. Thank you. I remember uh, an article Fifi Anaman wrote for the, the telly. Telegraph, where he said that moving to the U UAE was a plus for Ghana instead. Yes. Uh, okay, John. So the last two, and then I'll let you go. Obviously, uh, I think uh, your team wants to leave. You have another meeting. Here's one. This is an interesting one. You scored on your debut for Ghana against Somalia back in 2003. That, yeah. that much you know. Yeah. You came off the bench. That much you know. Do you know who you replaced? I replaced... Um, is it Nana Hindria? Perfecto. Yeah. 
in the seven to seven minute. Boga. That is ridiculous. The boy they play the right things for the man. <laughs> His whole life is football. Say, yeah. He was a very sharp student. He was always saying, yes, the football, the football, the football where you put the toxic in the cobalt boy in the play, he won't be that. But Mali said, in this great future, you can't, can't forget, forget the past. I won't go. Uh, Charlie, wait, wait, take your voice. I think your voice is high. You dry your tears, I say. No. Woman. Oh, <laughs> no, but on a serious note, Boga. if they those, sing, which song no, those, who, those, those singing and we appreciate them, if their voices were like yours, we're not going to listen. We are allowed to sing like you. We have, we have, we have. Somebody should suck Mufta out from there. We have a meeting with the NSA. Uh, yeah, you need to go. Okay, yeah, so. okay. But, okay. but friend, there's a final point I wanted mm-hmm. uh, um, Chief to clarify. There was something mm-hmm. about who could. Uh, there's a caveat in, in those who could. Yes. Um, if, you, if you're playing for a club, you can't register. Mm. Okay. This non-league. is meant for non league. Okay. So this is only for non league. If you're playing, if you're in the league, you cannot register. You'll be disqualified. Okay. Um, okay. The idea is um, you already have a platform that you were engaged on people have invested money in you they're expecting a certain um rewards or returns from you and we don't want to interrupt um those so if you are in the league if you're playing in the league you can't you can't what if i'm a free agent <laughs> yes you can if okay. you're a free agent it's a different I beg thing. you one last question this thing it has been worrying me for a very long time uh 2015 speaking to the microphone 2015 now. i was in uni we were fighting you almost became physical this question is on my heart. Fed off campus there. You and Afri Aqua, who they dance? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is the question. No, no, no. Yes. It's a two part question. Who is a better dancer? And who was responsible for bringing the, the formation dance in the Black Stars? This one. Uh, me, no, of course. No, this one. Oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, baby, you have, do you have a hat trick for the national team? Hat trick was. Nope. No. I think okay. two. That is true. Two, 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 two. Yeah. yeah. And, and those braces, how many of them do you think you scored? Those braces? Yes. Oh. Like you said, two, 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 two. But how uh, many? Can you put a number to it? I think Korea, Japan. Ah, he even remembers the game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Turkey. Uh, the one we scored seven at the Crespo Stadium. Yes. Yeah, that was uh, Lesotho. Lesotho. Oh, is it Comoro? Egypt. 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 Is it seven? Seven! <laughs> seven? <laughs> it is. Charlie He's got blues, seven braces. Charlie, end of story. Uh, <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't story, do this again. Room continue. Go this um, <laughs> uh, I think that, uh, it, it, baby, you would like to thank you for coming. Yep, yep, Obviously, yep, this yep. was very entertaining, very informative as well. Lovely. They're all regional games. Um, great initiative. We'll support it. We'll continue to take questions. Uh, Alfred and Chief Franklin, they'll be listening on their way to their meeting. So if you have we another do question... We'll forward some that we can't respond exactly, to. Exactly. We'll forward numbers, it. So. And then once they send us responses, we'll yeah. tell you. Uh, but go to allregionalgames.com to register. That is That's your right. only official outlet for registration. The actual competition is on November 4. But before that, they're touring the regions and they're scouting for talent. And it's going to be uh, a massive project in the build up to the whole event itself. It's a great initiative that we at the multimedia group are supporting as well from a legend, one of our own, for Ghana. From him, Ghana has given him a lot. He's given back, basically, to the Perfect. country that gave him everything. Uh, Chief Franklin, thank you, thank you for, sir. for this great initiative. Uh, and Baby Jet, we had the choice, we had the option of finishing that interview and asking more serious questions. We, are not, we don't want that. We wanted a more enjoyable atmosphere, a more enjoyable thank environment. You. Because sometimes the hard things can get. I'm not. If there is a, if there's time. You come back. We can have an actual interview Lovely. and speak <laughs> about the great thing. Like somebody says, did some the Tamaladas approve your departure to UAE? <laughs> and I'm like, you know. Like, and and one, I have to come in there. One thing sometimes I find it a bit frustrating. Yes. You know when when I'm online, you know, I grant interview. I'm here because of original games. Yes. And then you see. The headlines talking about the other interviews that I granted. The, the other things you spoke about. Yeah, so I want the journalist or the writers to focus on the original games. Yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah. That's why yeah. we're here. And that is why I intentionally didn't take you to other yeah. things. Thank you. Because certainly that's where the headlines would have been. If Thank I ask you anything about Blasters right now, before you leave this studio, <laughs> <laughs> you read the story. Yeah. 
<laughs> so <laughs> you it, it's story. very intentional. Thank I you. wanted to give him the maximum mileage as possible. Thank so, you. So that we're not distracted. Thank and you. And that's why they're here. We said we would help. We have to to set the example. Thank you. By controlling the narrative. Everybody's welcome. Everybody's thank welcome. You. Thank you. Thank All right, you. baby Jet. Thank you very much. Like, give me the song. Thank give you, Chief Franklin. Thank you, Bafo, for coming. Uh, yeah. I will not thank me. Thank you, Alfred, my friend. Leave here. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll be right back. But yeah, the original games is a it's a it's a uh, it's a project that um, that we will load, and we've said it many times in the past that you know as uh, Ghanaians sometimes, you know it, it's it's part of our responsibility as a media company to, to to help promote some of these some of these you know projects and events, and uh, you know I was glad that he came, and I know some of you probably were looking for some hardcore interview. That's not the purpose of this, and uh, like I explained, we needed to. Uh, make sure that the, the focus is all on on the reason for which he came here. Um, we benefited a lot from Azamojan and his performances with the national team. So when it's time to give back, you have to extend a hand and, and help with uh, um, with whatever project that he's working on. It's our responsibility, really, uh, to, to, to help uh, drive that home. So the All Regional Games, uh, if you're interested, go to allregionalgames.com. Uh, to register okay and um, they have a lot of a lot of uh, as many as nine sporting disciplines that they are uh, they're they're working on and not just football and you had them the opportunities that are bound are great uh, if you participate so uh, I'm glad that we could help but time now uh, for us to switch and talk about a few other things before uh, we call it uh, an afternoon. Lots of you are still sending in messages. Like I said, on their way to the meeting, they will be, uh, they will be uh, listening. So the team will uh, get your messages, uh, and then they will send us responses, and hopefully we can answer those questions. This one says, "Ask Jan to clarify us on this." Uh, we always argue that he's a musician, and Castro is the footballer. How true is this? <laughs> I think I've heard that Castro was a very good footballer. Yeah. Uh, as well. So I think that answers the question. Uh, there's a message here that says, um, uh, uh, Monko, I remember uh, his days in Alajo, specifically Davi Bean's area with all the squad asking who is the better player among the Jans, he or his brother. <laughs> uh, personally, I know their other brother who actually didn't play is better than himself and Bafo. That's Sakatu from London. Sakatu, that's an interesting one. I'm sure maybe you'll be listening. Uh, this one says, ask Jan. This is from Pablo in Montreal, Canada, who says, ask baby if he remembers his encounters with Lord during his course playing days. I think we have to bring Jan back here. No, it's like, it's like, <laughs> for it's, a it's, more, it's, for a no, more, no, 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 no,
Then he respond. Ah. He ah. ah. respond that with John. He will be John to the whole. He want John for the whole. He want John for the whole. Indeed. Interesting. Bedroom Rodrigo de Paul. He sends this message. Not Pep Guardiola. Not Pep Guardiola. Just say, why are you close marking your bedroom? It be Pep way day Ontario. Rania go Ontario. He was at La Paz. La Paz. He go. Oh, then 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 the Rodrigo de Porto very soon. In America, quick. If I go, God mercy. Okay. Interesting. All right. Cool. Um, listen, we'll talk Champions League very shortly. But let me tell you about um. Okay, this one says she asked Jan if he remembers his long range goal at the AFCON and uh, who assisted that goal. It was not called Jasper. This one, how can yeah. anybody forget? Uh, Fan, top show. Um, you guys are doing very well. Baby Jet is a living legend. Ask him if there's room for partnership from individuals. Yeah. I think they address that. On the site, you have sponsorship, partnership. Yes. It just visit the site. Go it's there. You see there. grooming players that we can see more replicas of him in the future. I think they answered all those questions. That's from there all the way in Madrid. Uh, listening to us, Dale. Thank you so much for your message. And there's one here that says, uh, "What happened to Baby Jet Airlines?" Oh, okay. W one of the business interests of Asamoah I remember that. You keep your messages coming. Uh, listen, um, Danny K. What's the voice I asked for? I can't find it. W the voice I asked for. Where is it? Find it for me, because that is essential. We need to. We need to. We need to start. And 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 end on a certain note, but there was some crazy football in the UEFA Champions League in midweek, and we'll talk about that shortly. Real Madrid and Man City traded one of the best games on UEFA Champions League night, three or at the Bernabeu. Then Barcelona shocked PSG, beating them three two away from home, and then obviously uh, Arsenal and Bayern Munich controversial end to the game. Following a very, very eventful uh, two-all draw, then Atletico Madrid with a slight advantage, uh, two-one winners over Borussia Dortmund. And then on Thursday, one of the big shocks of midweek football happened when Barcelona, well, when mm, uh, not Barcelona, when Liverpool at home were absolutely hammered and destroyed and pummeled and pummeled. By Atalanta and bamboozled and bamboozled. <laughs> let's refer. Let's refer. Let, let's let's refer to Atutamaklo for more adjectives. Atu, what do you have for us? Decimated. Decimated. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they were they were mashed. They were mashed, bamboozled, bamboozled destroyed, trashed, decimated, trashed, 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 humiliated, humiliated, uh, uh, annihilated, yes. uh -huh, crushed. <laughs> Uh, brother, they were cooked. I think <laughs> see, that's the best part. No, no, they were cooked. No, they were cooked. Thank you. I think that because we are all all of us are talking, it has become an encumbrance for you, <laughs> Charlie. Uh, it wasn't even fun. No, no, Sicho. Briefly on that, what what was that? Look, um, Fent. On a more serious note, I, I, I don't think. Liverpool gave Atalanta the respect they deserve. I think so too. Yeah. And when I look, when you look at the body language of the Liverpool players, it was almost as if they turned up at Anfield, thinking, "We are Liverpool. This is Anfield. We will win." Because the energy and the the intensity with which they played is not like the clubs Liverpool have become used to. But unfortunately for Jurgen Klopp, there are so many key players in this Liverpool team who are underperforming at this crucial time of the season. Mm -hmm. So, Cody Gakpo is not firing. Darwin Nunes is not firing. The biggest of all is Mohamed Salah, who is not firing. And there was a time in the season where Curtis Jones was brilliant for Liverpool. And he hasn't been the same player in the last month or so. Now, Konati has missed a couple of games, come back into the team, hasn't looked too sharp. So, all of these players who are not performing well come into the Liverpool team. Club has to rest some players. And all of a sudden, they lose that intensity that they've got. But they came up against an Atalanta team who away from home under Gasparini can be very dangerous to play. They've got pace, they've got great ability and work ethic. And that is why at Anfield, the Liverpool we've become used to, they didn't show up. And the Atalanta, not many people have paid attention to cooked Liverpool. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, lots of uh, messages here. Also on my personal phone. 
Uh, I mean, Shadow sent me a message. He said, for him, his favorite John Go has to be the one against Algeria. Malaria. Not necessarily even because of the good quality of the goal. Malaria. He says, even the importance of the goal alone. For that us. one. Malaria. Makes I, that goal I remember legendary. my headline very well. Malaria stricken John saves Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's I, rem- a good I one. remember my headline that's so a- well. This one from Okule says, Michael Okule, he says, his top three John goes in no particular order. John against USA. John against England. And John against Algeria. Yeah, I think definitely. that's a top. It's that's top. To as for Danike, I know how he's feeling now after seeing Baby J. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Okuleo. Ah, no, no, first hold on. What's it that I said to know? Who uh, sat on the chair fresh when he left? Hey. No, hey. 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 First hold on. <laughs> Do you know that Jan had an app? He used to have an app. A, a Baby Jet app? Yes. Allah. And Amini Shadow was the editor of that app. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sedu, Sedu Adamu is asking uh, uh, me to create a show around Blasters players and Ghana Premier League players titles. How much do you know yourself? Yeah, and I told content. him that it's in the works. Yeah, it's in content, the works yeah, already. Brilliant, yeah. It's in the works already. Yeah. What you saw was comedy. Yeah. No, we are just teasing. We're teasing. It's yeah. in the works already. Teasing, yeah, I've seen the thing on air. <laughs> oh no! Right now, the people on air know that it is our trademark. If oh, somebody goes to steal it, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if, if somebody goes, <laughs> right now, somebody goes. actually, actually, someone can go and steal it and tweak it small and make it. If you tweak it, guys, ah, who see? Who see? Who see? Pa? Who see? See, Kofi Haji, my good friend, he says he, he wants to know how much jam made from the UAE deal. Boys want to see something. You will see anything. <laughs> you, you will see anything. Uh, listen, before we go to UEFA Champions League, Danny K, yeah, man. I'm giving you five minutes. Okay. Let's talk about something that has been even in my own heart for the last maybe three weeks. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I will give you the through part. So I'm. Let me work on the past. Let me work on the past and give it to you. You are yeah. doing step over. Yes, I'm do, right now. I'm doing step over. <laughs> me, I'm Holland. I don't waste you time. You finish it. So that's right. Kevin, you do all the work. So let me do the work for you. Charlie, friends. He you has not done the work. Ah, no, you are, no, I'm waiting. I'm a very Listen impatient. Is it a faulty okay. pass? No, no, no. It's not a faulty pass, please. Mm-hmm. We don't give faulty passes. Here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't give faulty passes. Here. Okay. I just want to say that the black princesses of Ghana, Ghana's national and the 20 women's team has in the past 20 years been the most consistent national team in the entire country when it comes to qualifying for competitions. They have been the most consistent team of all our national teams when it comes to qualifying for competitions. They have made a seventh consecutive appearance at the FIFA World Cup. They've qualified for that. No other national team has ever qualified for the World Cup seven times in a row. Never in the history of Ghana football. Only one team has done that. That is our U20. It is made up of... 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds, 18 and 19-year-olds. In other words, it's a national team made up of teenagers who leave home the comfort of their parents. Some of them with single parents. Some of them, that is the only avenue with which they can bring something home. Some of them, as teenagers, are breadwinners because their talent is picking for them and that talent has to be rewarded because that talent is being used to the benefit of this country so each qualifying event these players are called to come come and play for the national team come and play for your country they leave home some of them from tamale from wa from Chirponi, from do they take bus and risk their lives to come to pram pram to come and lie there in mosquito stricken camp for days they are training and sacrificing the comfort of their homes for the national team and despite all of these challenges including fighting stigma because in Ghanaian society women footballers 
are still not duly accepted. Not just footballing. Women athletes have still not gained full recognition and full acceptance in society. We still see them in a certain way. A lot of people think that a lot of women footballers or a lot of women athletes are Tom something boys. else. Tomboys. Tomboys. Do they have to live with that? But in the face of all of this, they still show up every single time to compete for this country. And in the last year, they have done that remarkably by qualifying for the FIFA and the 20 Women's World Cup, which should take place later this year in Colombia. They played six matches in the process. In those six games, they want every single one of them to qualify. And that's the seventh consecutive qualifying match that they have played. Apart from that, the man that is leading them, Bazigi, since he came over, this team has not lost a single match in all competitions. And they have played in World Cup qualifying. They have played in Wafu U20 girls competition, which they won in Kumasi. They played in African games, which they won in Cape Coast. They are only entitled to $1,000 per game as a winning bonus. And I say entitled because the people in power were the ones who told them that if you win one game, we will give you $1,000. They didn't hold anybody's neck and squeeze them and force them to make that problem. Nobody did that. You did. You told them. So the six matches in qualifying, you told them you will pay them $6,000. So after the first round, two matches, $2,000. You didn't pay. After the second round, two matches, you didn't pay. After the third round, two matches, you didn't pay. They have qualified. You said, oh, they have another tournament coming up. And that tournament is African Games. Then the woman who is representing women's football at the executive council of the Ghana Football Association, Madam Gifty Owari, granted an interview to Joy Sports where she said categorically that the girls will be paid before the start of the African Games. Once again, we didn't hold her neck to make that promise. She did it, leaned back in the comfort of her chair at her office. We didn't even drag her here. When she granted that interview. So in other words, she had all the conditions perfect in her, and her brain was functioning at a high level. To tell the truth. Yes. Yes. Okay, but just to be fair to her, she said they are, they are holding the minister to his words. He's They are holding the minister to his words. You need to be fair to her. Muftao likes interrupting the interruption. I mean, <laughs> you are getting the world okay. to pass. Allow, please. So, <laughs> no, me, the past, I want to add to the past. Oh, God. Oh. Don't worry, I'll come to you. <laughs> okay. So, Madam Gifty Owari, you made that promise. You said you're holding the minister to his words. You made the promise. I didn't. No, but Lawrence is slimmer than. <laughs> Than he came. And shorter. And shorter. He has no strength. He can't force Madame Gifty Owari <laughs> to say anything. Okay? So Lauren asked her, her the question. And this is exactly what she said. FA is a, an association, and this association sells brands. And we have products that we sell. Our foremost product is Black Stars across the world, not just in Ghana. The male teams had been the one that dominates the love and affection from the countries. So I, I find it quite worrying when we try to make it look like vis-a-vis -vis the women's team and then we should see it as something that connects and all that. But I think the challenge really is, are the women getting the due that they deserve? Which I feel for a while as a country, we had not been doing so well. But then when you check for some time now, they've been getting really their due. The difference is that, yes, we are owing black queens, we are owing satellites, sorry, we are owing princess, and we had, when we spoke to them, myself, the president of GFA, Mr. Ketukwiku, and then the minister in the ministry had spoken, and they had made promises to us that we are going to get these monies for these girls before we start, we go into our next match, which...
All right. That the minister had made them a promise that they would get these monies before the start of the next match. And that next match was the first game of the African Games. They did not get the money. The girls did not get an explanation. Now, they played that first game, second game, third game, went all the way to the final, won it. And they still have not been told anything. The girls went home. In fact, the Muslim girls in there, I can tell you for a fact, you know how the, the GFA like to post pictures of their Muslim uh, girls and they, they are celebrating Eid. Or they could not celebrate Eid because they could not buy Eid clothes. <laughs> because they don't have money. Now, when they won gold at the African Games, the minister was the one who was there. And they told them that, listen, oh, before the start of the competition, they told them that if you win gold in the African Games, we'll give you $3,000. Then they said, and at the time they made the promise, they didn't say anything about team sport. Then when the girls won the competition, they went there to pay per diems and then they said we'll that as package. for team sport, we have not decided that we'll give you 3000 each. So, for you, we'll decide on a package and give to you. Now, in th since that promise, and now, they have been able to go to meetings and turn around on their word to the volunteers that they said were misinformed. They want to have a meeting in between and decided at that meeting that for the volunteers, we can pay them 1,000 Ghana cities per volunteer. Until date, they still have not decided that for the women footballers or for the black satellites, this is how much, we, this is the package we want to give them. The individual gold medalists too, as we speak, don't have their money. So, the girls go home and the girls are crying. I got a very inconvenient call. Sorry. Yesterday, one of the girls was crying. She couldn't get money to do anything for her parents for Eid. And she is a breadwinner and she's a teenager. She put everything in her life into playing football to make sure she gets selected for the national team. And we are not talking thousands of dollars here. We are talking $1,000 per match. $1,000. They promised they didn't pay. Africa Games, they won gold. They didn't pay. One of the girls even told me they can't even get money to buy sanitary pads. That is how serious the situation is. You were lucky she didn't ask you for money. I haven't finished. <laughs> and then I asked her, so how have you been surviving? She said last week she called the coach and the coach sent her 80 Ghana cities. Coach Baziki, who has not also been paid a peswa. The coach himself is unwell. When I called him to confirm the girl's story, the coach said he was in hospital. He needs money. He's sending Momo from the hospital. Yes. <laughs> uh, but that's why he's been doing all these years. <laughs> he himself is not well. And we are keeping this money for what purpose? They keep saying they don't have money. But when the volunteers did small Takashi, you found money for them. You didn't even add that they said they'll give them 200 cities as transportation. To that 1,200. 1,200 per volunteer, you found the money for them. You still haven't decided how much you will pay the girls. And you still owe them $6,000 per player. Now, do you know that I was anointing the key? When we made the noise for them to pay the black queens, these people including Madame Gifty Owari, and I have great respect for her. But you cannot, after the Zambia second leg match, she went to chief of staff and took 250,000 Ghana CDs. And he said, chief of staff said, you people, you didn't qualify, but you played well. And they came to share that money to the players, the Black Queens players, who didn't qualify, by the way. But she had time to take money from chief of staff to come and give it to them on top of the 80, what, 4,000 Ghana City checks all of them got for all the money they owe them. And they deserve that. But my point is, if you can, go and look for extra money 
to come and share to the black queens. For a team that did not qualify. A team that didn't qualify because they played well in Zambia. And you are looking at the queens. Who you are also in charge of. You may not be the management committee chairperson for that. But you represent their interests at the FE. You went to chief of staff. Looked at chief of staff's face. And determined that the girls who just got $84,000 checks... Or was it 80 something? CDs. CD, CD, CD. Sorry, sorry, 84,000 CD checks. Or was it 87? Something like that. Uh, and didn't qualify for the Olympic Games. Are uh, the ones who deserve an extra 200,000. When the ones that have qualified that you owe, that are teenagers, that need this, you are misplacing priority. And even from that 200 and something thousand from Chief of Star, each player got 4,000. Multiply it by 22 players. Let's see. Where is the rest of the money? Do the calculation. You can calculate that for there. I mean, that one, if you are chief so of that, that invited them. We are back. So, see. Daniel, we are back to this. Where we are ready as a country to let teenagers starve. And you know what I picked up? Apparently, the per DMs that were paid at the end of the African Games, the management committee chairpersons did not get some. Or got something that was not proportional to what the players got. So, but why, why did they want to? Why do they want to get? First question. So, now, they are very ah, apathetic what, towards the what situation. Do you, what do you mean, why did they get some? If they are all in camp and they are all working out of their That's fair. Yeah, they are due them. Per diems are due them. The point is, though they are very apathetic to the situation because they feel like even with the bonuses, they won't get their share of the money. So, they are not fighting enough. Which, which may be mine, which can also make sense. And it will be very selfish and unfortunate. Why would it be selfish? Because it means they don't have any work. No, 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 no that they won't even get for the work that they do on the team. The structure of our national teams are such that they need management. They've, they've composed such that there's a management team. If you are telling us today that they have no value, then block it out. If it is there, then you have to get what is due them. If they won't be paid, then what should they work for? It is their management team's job to go and find that money. If you are saying that they don't have to be paid for the job they are doing, then why are you now saying that they should go and look for the money for if the girls? Friends, I, I disagree. Go on. I don't think you need a management committee. You need to institute such a committee to go and chase monies that you've agreed to pay the ladies. That's not what I've said. It's useless. That's not what I've said. No. Fentu is saying that. I'm only the, saying the, the, I'm the only attitude towards that. the chasing of the money I am staying is with somewhere with because they won't get some. That's right. But they feel. That's they feel they don't get enough. some. I am speaking to the logic of they being relevant in the first place. Oh, that one is a different matter. We cannot uh -huh. establish. So no, that one is a different so matter. That one is a different matter. So how but now that they are there, they have to get what to do them. Having said Later, that. Later, we can talk about not having them. Having said that. The past. Having said that, I find it highly irreprehensible. Okay. It is unquestionable. It is unfortunate. It has no... Unquestionable. It's it's it has no place in our society where at any given chance we should have the opportunity to treat teenagers like this who have been called to save their country. Because of all the people who are responsible for making these monetary decisions. I don't think any of them have served this country better than these girls have, and they are only teenagers. So, the last thing I would say. No matter what the difficulty is, stop lying. You know you have the money. You found it when the black stars were going to the AFCON. You found it when the volunteers were making you unpopular. You found it to pay for opening ceremony and closing ceremony. Over $5 million. You found it to build stadium. Uh, Boteman Complex, 145 million. You found it to invest 34 million into a stadium that was already 70% complete. You found cars. it to, to spend 60 million in University Halls to host Africa Games. Is it 6,000 per player, national team player, that you can, if it were the Black Stars that you owed $6,000, would you have told us you don't have the money? You owed these girls before the AFCON. You found the money to pay the men to take them to the AFCON and you didn't find it in it to give them their due. 
That is wickedness. So, Mr. Sports Minister, Mustafa Yusuf, Deputy, Mr. Evans. Bobier Evans, Madam Gifty Oware, Mr. Keto Kreku, get your priorities right. I don't get a CD from this money, but I cannot keep getting the calls I'm getting. It makes me sad. They reach out to me via Twitter DM, phone calls. It is a sad situation. All because you promised them money that you haven't paid. Pay the black princesses their money. I Daniel, know. finish it for me. me. I just want to say one thing. I've been on this thing. Uh, you are tired. Uh, look, me, tired. <laughs> <laughs> look, what broke... And I want listeners to listen to this. Let's see. Listen to this thing. Oh. What broke my heart was last weekend... Ah, I received a call and the person is telling me that she's telling me that look Ramadan couldn't have come at a much better time and I said like ah what do you mean by that and she says they are fasting so there's no need for her to buy food do you understand what it means the fasting has become like an excuse for, the need, for the need for so it's not really the essence of the fasting that's the problem yeah. Charlie they are fasting they are fasting. So from six to six, she knows that she can the small that she have, or, or the one that she doesn't even have in pool, there will be no need to spend it on food. Because I uh, hear yeah, there's religious backing to it. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't need to. So when are the, so I said, ah, but when the six organ others are breaking their fast, you what do you do? And she said, Oh, basically, she was speaking to you, basically, like the people know her. So when she gets there, oh, like the cook will give her some. Ah, Charlie, this somebody who why are we Charlie, you pull out wicked, eh? Like this thing eh, is beyond wickedness. Ah, you are wicked, papa. And then you go like you are managing them all. And see, I bet you the World Cup that is coming. If any glory comes from this the thing annoys me. Oh, when glory comes, they are the first to ah, did you see the black satellite the podium? The podium takes four people. There were nine people on the podium because they want to be inside the picture. Yes, yes. Oh, when Abeku Jackson won his medal, who was there with him? He was forcing himself on the podium. When glory comes, you are the first to go and put your face there. Yes. And then you add your voice to it. And the voice to it is nonsense. We don't want to hear it. Because we know what you are doing. We don't want to hear that part. But then you go and add your voice to it. You are talking loud. And then they add it to their political campaign. That during my time... The team won this. The team won yeah, this. Yeah, they will add it. The team won this. And they qualify for this. But the small thing that you give to these people to survive to. Uh, how can you live like this? How can you seriously be in charge of... Like, these are teenagers. teenage girls who... Yes. And you understand... You understand the, 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 the state of the sport in this country. You know what it means to be a female footballer. They are not paying them at their clubs. It's literally charity work that they are doing. And when they work hard enough to earn national team qualification, the small that you give them, the black stars were paid even before. The money was waiting for them when they start, before they even started flying into the country. They get call up no way they send them the money. No. But, but these girls will go and do the work and come. <laughs> one call up, one so one usually, call up no, it's true. <laughs> usually the black stars, when they are going for a tournament, the moment they finish with their final squad, Baga. they give you your appearance fee. They call you no bang bang. Friend, you know, Daniel has spoken about one aspect, the nonchalance and the wickedness. Yes. The other part... Is how people's relationships and their political affiliations have gotten in the way of the work. The women's it, league it board, has become an encumbrance. Okay. <laughs> the women's league board is made up of women of with relative clout, right? At least in the sports space, mm -hmm. all of them have significant political relationships. Yes. We, we don't want to mention their names. Yes, there is a Black Queens Management Committee. Mm -hmm. There is a Princesses Management Committee. Mm -hmm. I have said it. I don't think those committees should be there. Mm -hmm. But if you I take, agree, I fully agree. If you take the composition of the GFA itself, mm -hmm. there are powerful people there mm -hmm. who will advocate, who should advocate for women's football. Gifty is an example. And I'm mentioning her name because she typifies what I'm about to explain. Mm -hmm. Her position makes it impossible for her to do her job. And that is why me, I will never agree with this idea that we should put a politician in the administration of our football. The conflicts of interest. She is the deputy boss at the NSS. True. Card-holding member of the NPP. True. How does she go against the green and call out the sports ministry and her government for doing this? 
That's a tricky situation. She cannot. It is a tricky situation. At she least cannot. not publicly. She can At it least not publicly. Friends. Even I'm sure no, I'm sure behind this. Uh, obviously even, be, even, even to, behind to, to fight she behind this is a legal hat. She can have a conversation, but her attitude when she, she has nothing no, about no, that point. when she has nothing to lose, she cannot. She will be constrained by this relationship and this mentality that we're all in the same boat and we're all from the same place. Unfortunately for us, even for those who are not like gifted, for those without an actual portfolio to point to, they still have relationships. Partisan portfolio. Yes. They still have some relationships with people in government, with people in the party, which makes it impossible for them to even give a radio interview. To highlight this matter. To, to even highlight the matter because, look, they are genuinely afraid of what will happen to them if they dare question the sports ministry or government on how they are treating the ladies. Otherwise, friends, there is no way this thing will happen. Because so, all of so these people have... They are old enough to have teenage daughters. Oh yes. So, so there are people who don't, who just and don't they care. don't own clubs. There are those who, out of wickedness, will not lift a finger to help. And then there are those who I believe, and those people outnumber the first two categories that I've spoken about. It's just a matter of fear of the consequences that will come if they dare question the sports ministry. Because look, friends, why should we need people to go and ask the sports ministry to pay something promises that they have made? And here's the thing, look. And these are not even lofty promises. Here's the thing. You see, often people don't know the the, the nature of the situation. People there's people don't know who these players are, where they are coming from. They don't know their livelihoods and how they survive. Bro, the DB girls they already play ball. That's <laughs> so, that, so the like when you explain <laughs> so, it. So in thirty seconds, uh, so, yeah, move down. Thank you. So in seven consecutive competitions. These under 20 girls yeah. have sold this country to the rest of the world. With all due respect to the Ghana Tourism Authority and other agencies responsible for marketing Ghana, who are always giving budgets. You have not given these girls any budget, mm -hmm. but they've sold this country to the rest of the world more than all these agencies that you have. You give them budgets to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. If a single player is due just $6,000, mm -hmm. That you cannot make that six thousand dollars available, then I have a very we are all big not problem. serious. Then we are not serious as a country. If you are serious as a, a country, shame, eh? it's a big shame. It is because you are wondering. Ah, have I been so, wearing this one all along? So in the f in the first place, <laughs> <laughs> like thank you from the da. <laughs> in the first place, can you imagine Ghana versus, say, Colombia, Ghana versus Egypt, the match, whether you like it or not, it is on FIFA. Can, can Ghana global. as a country is global. It's global? Can Ghana as a country pay, pay for that? For that act? Marketing. No, we can't. We can't. We can't. So this simple thing, this simple act of doing it for the girls, and we find it very difficult to do it. That's a brilliant point. So this is what we are going to do here at the multimedia group. If you will not pay the money, we will raise money for the girls. Simple. Oh, so simple we'll like start that. a fundraiser campaign. A fundraising campaign. Game from plan fundraiser. Yes. From next week, we'll start the fundraising campaign so that public institutions or private individuals can donate to taking care of these girls. Because we cannot do this to people who sacrifice for our country. And that is how we wrap up today's edition of Game Plan. Achu, thank you. Thank you, Sicho. Si. Thank you, Daniel. Baby. Thank you, Muftao. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to Baby A himself. The show is partly brought to you by <laughs> Paper <laughs> Soul, uh, as well as DSTV. My name is Fentio Tahir Fentio. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure that you go on the Joy News YouTube page. It will be available there as a podcast. You can watch back. Also, it will be available on all podcast platforms. Just search for uh, Game Plan and it will be right there for you. Okay. Uh, the, but also remember that um, uh, for... Joy Prime, we are preparing to dive into a selection of signature cocktails and mocktails from classic mojitos and sex on the beach to refreshing margaritas and cosmopolitans uh, to save our mouth-watering mm -hmm. range of sizzling grills from pork to chicken. Uh, we've got the beats to keep you grooving all day long. So mark your calendars for the two-day experience on the 3rd of May, starting at 4 p.m. and the 4th of May, starting at 2 p.m. sharp at the Joy FM car park. Don't miss out on the fun, okay? Uh, it's called the Joy Prime Cocktail Experience. All right. If you want 
to sponsor or to make inquiries. The number is 055-969-1797. We'll see you then. My name is Fentio Tahiru Fentio once again. Thanks a lot for listening for all your messages. We're back again next Friday. <laughs>